Okay, I'm stood up and ready for action. This is being recorded directly after my terrible arboreal mass freehow thingy. So we're going to get straight in from this position, but today we are going to be rehousing three brachypelma. No, we're not. We're rehousing two brachypelma, one tail to cattle. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So we are starting to do away with the enclosures that I did originally fall in love with and that is our hexagonal enclosures. Let me show you. So we've got three of these, all with Brachy or X Brachy Palma inside them. Now I still do love these enclosures. But with Realm Ferb and the new style enclosures, I kind of want to do away with these and perhaps use these for something else. Maybe tip them, I'm not going to do it because there's a spider in here, but tip them this way and use them for some fossorials and lay them along maybe the back. Maybe when my, my killer brachies have grown up a little bit or something like that. So it's got a bit of depth to the enclosure. But yes, I really want to get this room sorted, which means getting these rehouses done ready for making space then for some of our phasmid projects especially project paradise so i thought to make this a little bit more entertaining i'm actually going to be doing this rehousing on Camorabi, our filming area just here so i'll position the two enclosures try and get the tarantulas to come out by themselves and wander into the new enclosure what could possibly go wrong so let's get straight into this now. Alrighty then, this time we are mixing it up. We are going largest first, which is the Tiltacuttle Albopolosus. Now this was a gift to me from a one centimeter sling from David Dance from House of Bugs. Let's get my catch cup at the ready. Uh, let's put it over here. Now getting them out of these hexagonal enclosures is hard. Better with heavy webbers. Um, I did my INSEE really easy because I just picked up the web the INSEE was hidden in. That one wasn't done on camera by the way. And it was a simple and straight rehouse. This is a nutty tea. Uh, it's very food responsive too. So trying to get this one out. Whoa. It's biting the straw. It is biting the straw. Okay, we're going to try a change of angles for you. But this tea is very responsive to this straw. It is biting. Come on, we're trying to move you, not give you food. This tea's actually jumped for food before. Oh no, that's not where we want you to go. Come on, princess. You see the pain that I'm having here? No, don't flick at me. Forwards, that's it, you need to come out. These hexagonal ones are a pain in the butt. And it's coming forward, getting it to go up and out and in as well, because if it darts the wrong way, it's going to be on the floor. It's coming. Come on. Got a strand of web on the straw and some hairs. Hey, enough of that. Hey, I went too bad, was it? So here it is. It's sat right by the door. So unfortunately, I can't get you a full body angle. Oh, shame. Hopefully, it's moved by the time the other rehouses have done, so you can have a better look. But this is a true form. So it's a true bloodline curly hair and uh, that's why it's got these beautiful beige hairs everywhere. Your hobby forms are not quite as fluffy. Let's 
got a nice big hide. Decent sized water dish too. There we go. Our true form curly hair. I'll fill up its water dishes after this video. Okay, so let's move all that one. And that one. Uh, let's put in this one. This is our Brachypelma Hamori. It always likes to stay at the back of this enclosure, so I don't know how I'm going to get it to come forward, but we'll try the same tactic. Smaller enclosure for this one, smaller tea. Plus, I'd love to be able to rehouse this again in the future to a more naturalistic look to their environment. But for now, we're sticking simple. Okay, I've put the camera angle back. I just find it easier to manoeuvre this way. Uh... I've lost my tongs and my straw. Oh god, I'm never prepared, am I? Aha, it's okay. I'd put the other enclosure over the top. So I quite like to uh, get my tongs and put a straw over the edge. It's good fun. Right, my arm kind of gets in the way here, but this is the only... Whoa, you're a lot more skittish. Where's my catch cup? I'm hoping if I angle my arm high enough you won't be able to see much while it's in this enclosure it's kicking hairs like mad but the idea is that you can see it coming out this is tea is going skits there it is not sure how well you can see Just like that, dead, dead easy. So let's take a look at our girl. This one is a female. And there she is. You can see her a lot better than we could see the curly hair, right? She's got a large abdomen on her. She did just kick a lot of hairs, mind. It is darkening as well. Not fully, but getting there. So that, folks, is our female Hamori. This one also used to be a gimp, by the way. So by that I mean she missed a leg and a pedipalp and she's got them back now. She's a beautiful girl. Absolutely adore this tea. It wasn't purposely bought, it was uh, in a gimp mystery box. And she's growing away nicely with me. So that leaves one more tea and the one that I think is going to be the hardest for me to get out due to the way it's created its home. And that is our Amelia. Now she, although this one's actually unsexed, is going to be a pain because I tried something with this Amelia to put a rock cave in. And the problem is she loved it and dug deep down inside, down here. Now it's going to be a pain to get her out. Now people worry about putting rocks in in case the uh, underside collapses and it crushes the tea. This is a very lightweight rock but she adores it and I'd quite like to put it in her home as well. But getting it out might be tricky without caving her in. I think I'm going to have to try and get this out first. Um, let's get her enclosure ready just in case. So, just going to go for it. She doesn't appear to be on the rock. Yes! You see, really lightweight, was a sea rock. I kind of cleaned it up. I think it's awesome. So, she can have that back in her home. All right, I'm gonna cycle through to find this Amelia, and uh, then we'll get her housed. Okay, I've had to dig out most of her substrate to find her, and uh, yeah, she's down in this corner. You won't be able to see because all the substrate powder's kind of on the side. She made a hell of a burrow, which I thought was quite odd for an Amelia. I don't normally see that. Right, prop open this. Oh, for goodness sake, there's just things everywhere. Okay, she's probably going to be kind of stressed because of the fact that I've had to dig up her burrow. So... We're going to try and do this as smoothly as possible. 
she's coming. Can you guys see her? She was coming. Not that way. She's beautiful. Wow. Actually, I've just realised I did sex this one. It's a boy. Straight in. Way easier than I thought this was going to be. Okay, I've propped the light on the lid so that you can have a decent look. Now, remember, we're not going to be here long because I don't want to stress her. She's already had to have her burrow dug out. But there she is. True Amelia colours. Came to me about half this size. Oh, she is gorgeous, is she not? Brachypalma Amelia, one of my faves, I've got to be honest. I'd love to get my hands on a female or an adult female. But uh, for now, he's just going to grow up with me. And yeah. Cute. So there we have it, guys. We have done Brachypalma Amelia, Brachypalma Hamori. Oh, and we've also got at the bottom there our filter cattle elbow pelosus there it is but look what's happened since doing the arboreal rehouse and the three bracky slash tilter cattle hang on let me just put my light back on its stand uh, one-handed one-handed skills ready for this and then Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Amelia, Amelia, Amelia. Yeah, that's what happened. I was trying to filter it in here. Yes, this is not cool. The realm is a mess. I'm going to be off, guys. I need to sort out all of this and clean it all up. The idea of rehousing is to make this place prettier not a million times worse so i will see you in the next video thanks for sticking around take care bye bye